Hello Revolve, my name is Alana Davison and I am a beauty and lifestyle content creator here on YouTube and today I'm going to be taking you through 10 of my current favorite beauty products that I think you should try this month. All the products that I am talking about today are available on Revolve Beauty so be sure to check the description box down below where you can find the links to each of the beautiful beauty things that I am talking about today and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like favorites videos and subscribe to the Revolve YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this. So my friends, let us dive in. I'm gonna start with makeup. The first product is actually so disgusting. Like this has seen so much life and it's one of my favorite beauty products of all time. It is the powder that got me into powder. I'm a dry skin gal, like very, very dry skin and I used to stay far away from powders and this powder is what changed the game for me. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Look at that. Look at that gunk. Look at the use. Oh my gosh. It's such a great powder. It sets in your makeup, makes it last all day long without turning you into a prune and sucking all the moisture and glow out of your face. It leaves the glow and sets the makeup and takes the oiliness away. It's a super small, thin, compact, which makes it perfect for throwing in your bag and touching up on the go. And it's one of my favorite powders of all time. If you haven't tried it, you absolutely need to try it. Now, speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, I wanted to mention a new eyeshadow palette that is perfect for the everyday gal who likes to dye with eyeshadow but nothing too crazy this is perfect to create any of your everyday looks but also has some deep enough shades in there this is the Charlotte Tilbury the super nudes easy eyeshadow palette it's got a mix of warm and cool tones in here it's got some highlighting shades it's got some nice like medium brown lighter shades and then you've also got a delicious black in here and this is just the easy truly the easy nudes palette I love the name of that is perfectly named and I'm definitely someone who doesn't like to play with a whole lot of color in my eyeshadow I'm very boring I'm very simple when it comes to my eyeshadow and I love these smaller compact eyeshadow palettes that are easy enough to use for every day and then there's not too many shadows so you're not overwhelmed it's very easily laid out for you and then the money that you're spending on the palette you feel like you're getting a good bang for your buck because you know that you're going to get use out of all the shadows in here so this is a gorgeous everyday neutral palette from charlotte tilbury definitely one to try the next product is one that i cannot shut up about this is the ella Luz lip and cheek stain this is the perfect color for fall and winter in my opinion, but also could be worn all year round. It's such an easy product to use and it's that perfect, like I just drank a couple glasses of wine lip stain. It's that beautiful deep berry shade. It can be worn on absolutely all skin tones and it's so gorgeous. A little bit goes a long way. You can put a tiny little bit on your lips like I've done today and it just leaves this most gorgeous wash of light berry color. Dab a little bit on your cheeks and you just, it's just such a gorgeous product. It's definitely one to try. If you're new to lip stains, it's a very, very easy to use one. It doesn't set too quickly so you have a lot of play time to make sure that you get it all blended in and it's absolutely gorgeous. I wear it mainly on the lips but it is such a beautiful product to use on both the cheeks and the lips. If you like multi-use products this is definitely one to try. I can't get enough of this color. It's so good. So my next two favorites are actually two more eye products. Two eyeliners here today and both do some very different things. Okay the first one is the Surat Inner Light Baton. Such an interesting name. It's so fun. This is the Effervesce. <laughs> Shade, and this is a product that I've actually had for a really long time. I love Surat. I think their products are really cool and unique. This was actually a product that I had purchased because of Lisa Eldridge, aka the queen mother of makeup. <laughs> and if Lisa Eldridge says a product is good, then you do not question and you buy. <laughs> in the fall, we get moody. In the fall, perhaps we're sleepy. And I like to have a little bit of help with my eyes. I love to use this on the inner waterline of my eyeballs and it helps to make me look fresh. It helps to make me look awake and it helps us to pretend like we haven't just give enough coffee and are regretting it deeply. So this is a fabulous product to fake looking awake and fake looking fresh, especially as the colder weather months slide into our lives and we're feeling a little extra sleepy. This is a godsend. Now the next liner I wanted to talk about is one from Ilia and this is actually in the shade Dusk, which is a brown eyeliner. And if you are an eyeliner wearer, whether it be just a plain gel liner like this or a liquid eyeliner, and if you have never tried a brown eyeliner, I definitely want to encourage you to try it. It is such 
such a game changer, especially if you do like to wear more light and natural makeup. I like, I just feel like sometimes a black eyeliner is too harsh on my eyes. I like it to be a little bit more natural. So even if you do want a nice intense wing, or if you do just want a versatile gel liner product like this that you can just blend out on your lash line with a little brush and have it be a little bit more smoky, brown is just a softer alternative to wearing a black liner for your everyday makeup. And it's such a beautiful option. And this one from Ilya is Clean Beauty. But it's also super, super creamy. And I just love the very rich chocolatey shade of this liner in particular. It's absolutely gorgeous and one to try in your makeup bag for sure. So those are a few of my favorite beauty picks. Let's move on to some skincare favorites. It's 2021 people. We know now that skincare is just as important if not more important than what is in our makeup bags. So the first thing I wanna talk about is removing your makeup. And one of my favorite products to do that ever is the Caudalie Vino Clean Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. I'm a firm believer in a double cleanse. When I've got a full face of makeup on, I absolutely like to go in first with a makeup removing cleansing oil or a balm just to make sure that every little ounce and speck of makeup is removed from my face and out of my pores. And then I like to go in with my cleanser. So this one is absolutely one to try from Caudalie. They've been doing an entire rebrand and revamp of all their packaging and it's made from recycled materials and it's also all recyclable, which is so amazing. Caudalie <laughs> can truly do no wrong and this is one of my favorite skincare products ever. You can see the bottle is very, very loved. And if you haven't tried double cleansing or tried an oil, this is one to try. All right, let's talk about sunscreen. We all know that we should be wearing sunscreen all over our bodies every single day, protect our skin from those rays. And sometimes it can be very easy to forget these steps. So I'd like to give an honorable mention to my Super Goop Glow Screen. She's gorgeous, she's glowy, and a beautiful step to add into your skincare routine. I rub it all over my face. It's glowy, it's juicy, and it protects your skin. It's a beautiful makeup and skincare hybrid product, but that's not the favorite, that's that's a bonus, okay? That's not the favorite I wanna talk about. The one I wanna talk about is the Super Goop Balm, the Cloud9 100% Mineral Sun Balm to be exact. This was new in to me, I saw this on Revolve Beauty and was so excited because I'm such a fan of their products to begin with, and then this one, Listen, okay, here's the thing. I'm a driver, okay? I live in the middle of nowhere. And even though I've got my face and my body sunscreen on lock, I always forget about my hands. And I've been reflecting on it a lot, actually. As I'm driving <laughs> all day, every day, I'm like, oh my God, my hands are aging. <laughs> and I always forget to put sunscreen on my hands. So I thought this was so brilliant. This is an everything balm. You can kind of use this wherever you want to, but because it's this small, amazing little tin with this very creamy, moisturizing little balm in there, it's the perfect tin to either keep in your car or throw in your purse. It's not gonna take up any space. <laughs> it's super light, and then not only can it act as a hand cream, but it will also help me to remember to put the sunscreen on those parts of my body, like my hands, that I am constantly forgetting to address. So I'm literally, I'm gonna put this one in my car, I'm gonna buy a backup, I'm gonna keep it in my bag, it's gonna travel with me, it's gonna go with me wherever I go. And I thought this was so brilliant. Supergoop is amazing. They put sunscreen in every product that you would not even think. Like they even have cream eyeshadows that have SPF in it. And I think it is brilliant. And this is definitely, definitely a product that we should all be using more in our life. This is one to try. All right, next I want to talk about a lip balm. One of my favorite lip balms that I have ever used is the By Terry Balm de Rose. Here is my current By Terry Balm de Rose. This is a fabulous, thick, juicy, ultra hydrating lip balm. And LOL to my long nailed ladies, okay? You can see all of my nail dips in here because you have to dip backwards so that it doesn't get all under your nails. The struggle is real, okay? This one, it smells like roses. <sighs> It's like you're basking in your grandma's flower garden in her estate in the UK. That's how By Terry makes me feel, okay? So this is the current one that I have sitting on my bathroom counter. I use it morning and night. I soak my lips in this, it is so great. And I even have a backup. The By Terry Balm de Rose, one of my favorite lip balms ever. Definitely one to try. So the next product is just kind of fun for me, but it has purpose, it has use, okay? I wanna talk about the Georgia Louise freeze tools. I actually kept the box here because it has excellent instructions on the back and I'm a very forgetful gal and when I'm using products like these, I definitely need to follow something or else I just end up looking like I'm smacking and rubbing around my face. And that is a that is an interesting look. So these are the cryo facial freeze tools, okay? Look at, look at these. 
But these amazing little contraptions just make your face feel so good. You put it in the freezer, okay? It comes with a plastic tin. You put them in the plastic tin, you keep it in the freezer overnight, and in the morning when you wake up and your face is puffy and you're tired and you just need something to brighten up your face, give yourself a little facial massage and you feel like a million dollars. Honestly, the blast of cold on your face feels so good. You can do a little bit of contouring and massaging with it. They've actually got like nice weight to them and it's cold and it just makes your skin feel amazing. And and this is also a really great alternative to like under eye patches. I've been a big user of under eye patches in the past. Just a cooling little patch. I used to keep them in the fridge and I put them on in the morning when I'm feeling a little bit blah. It's a lot of excess waste. So this is a great way to just buy something, to buy something one time. You've got one product, it can do all of that. And you're being a lot less wasteful as well. So very, very, very much a fan of these. It is so fun. Oh my god, if you haven't tried, if you have not tried the freeze tools, <laughs> I highly recommend. Okay, this one's definitely personal to me, but I thought it was hilarious and I wanted to share. This is the Marvis toothbrush and toothpaste kit, okay? In this lovely little kit, you have this fabulous whitening toothpaste, okay? First of all, look at the packaging. How can you not? It's so cute. How cute is this? And then you've got a fabulous toothbrush with a lid. And the reason why I'm including this as a favorite this month is because I actually have Invisalign. But it's also such a pain in the butt when you are out and about, going to work, running around, going for dinner, having lunch. Like you, I want to be better about keeping my Invisalign in, but it's also disgusting. Like I can't eat a meal, I can't go for lunch, I can't go for dinner, and then happily put my Invisalign back in on dirty teas. I just can't do it. So this is actually such a, this is such a brilliant little pack for me. Could you make your own with your own toothpaste and the toothbrush that you already have? Yes, but I love this fabulous little kit. It's sleek, it's cute, it's chic. The toothpaste is even chic, okay? It is so cute. And this is something that I can throw in my bag and I can also put my trays in the bag and be able to wash my teeth when I am out of the house. Um, so this little travel pack was brilliant and even for travel, when you're traveling in general. If you travel for work, if you're traveling for pleasure, this is such a cute little toothpaste and toothbrush pack. I just love it. And for my fellow braces wearers, retainer wearers, this is brilliant. I just love that little toothpaste kit. It is the cutest thing and I finally have a little home for my Invisalign and I also have a chic little pouch for keeping my teeth clean on the go. I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think of my picks? And if there are any products that you think we need to try, please let us know. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Revolve, thank you so much for having me. You can find me here on YouTube or on Instagram. I am at Alanorama everywhere. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I hope I will see you all very soon. Bye!